just I think just because we're picked up on you know what we talked about a little bit last night, but just what what does it allow you guys to do as a group when you have all four lines mm -hmm. in your forward groups that are are playing you know a lot and and playing. Um, you know, with some determination and, and some effectiveness. Yeah, I, I think it's the overplaying thing. It eliminates that. Like, and Elias is a great example. Like, um, for a forward to play 20 plus minutes a night is a lot. Uh, and you may be able to do it short term, but long term, it's a real challenge for guys in order to keep them at the level that they want to be at. So if you play too much, um, there's a tendency for guys to start pacing themselves a little bit. And when you have all four of your lines going, um, they know when they're on the ice, and maybe not quite as much um, as they would if it was a shorter bench. Then they have to make sure they're going um, when they're out there. And the other thing is, when you have four different lines that are, are going, it gives you a lot more flexibility with who and when you're putting people on the ice. Right, right. And, and now, the, uh, you know, a huge benefit of that in a back-to-back -back with travel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fresher legs, I guess, tonight. But how you know, can you use that again here? you know, this evening to kind of build on and, and be effective? Ideally, you'd like to have it that way every night. So uh, it's a challenge for all the guys that everybody has to bring their best on uh, as an individual and then collectively as a line if you want to go that way and then as a team. Uh, we just talked to AJ a little bit and, um, you know, obviously the two goals that will stand out, mm -hmm. but what for you was, you know, really effective about that group? Uh, I, they played with some pace. Off the rush um, was one thing. I thought their habits and their details in their own zone were much better than what they had been in, in prior games. Um, and then when you really look at that line, there's two really bigger guys in, in Rosie and, and Greer, and then Dylan's got a lot of speed. So they spent more time in the offensive zone as well, which is a big plus for us because it sets the other lines that are coming up for success. Just kind of going back to you know the four lines, mm -hmm. it's easy, I feel like, especially in the line where we do, to say that you're a team that relies on four lines to contribute offensively. But maybe when you have a game like last night and everybody does have a piece of it, does it kind of increase the belief in those guys that they can go out there and be a part of this? Uh, as to a player or coach to player? I think the players trying to buy in. Sure. And that they're a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody wants to feel valued no matter where you slot um, within a team. If you're the highest paid player, if you're playing your first NHL game, everybody wants to feel valued. And um, when you're having a little bit of rhythm to your game and when you're getting out there more regularly, people feel good about where they're at for sure. You said last night that Elias' line, that was the best they've looked as, mm -hmm. as a trio. What did you like about their game last night? Um, I, I think you saw some some better puck play from them. But I, I think when you when you look at that line, to me that was Sharon Govich's most competitive night in a long time. And I think because he was competitive, it allowed um, Lindy not to have to do all the heavy lifting that he normally does on a line. So um, Manji and, and Sharon did a really good job of, of picking up some of that slack. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why they had some success. Competitiveness or maybe what else does, does a guy like Sharon Govich add to, to that line? Because obviously there was some existing uh, you know, chemistry, mm -hmm. I suppose, between Andrew and Elias. Mm -hmm. I, I think for Sharon, uh, when he is strong on pucks, uh, he's got a really good skill set where he can make plays, whether that's in motion or standing still. So he understands the offensive side of the game. Um, the challenge is to get him consistently strong on pucks. So if there's you and me going for a, a puck, yeah, we need him more often to say, that's mine, and I'm going to come out of that battle with it. So when he's on in that regard, you see nights like he had last night.